In SpectraFlow version 2.1, there's a feature that allows you to export data through one of the gates on your worksheets and save only the gated events as an FCS file. To do that, I'll show you here using this multicolor tube. I'm going to select one of my gates, perhaps this T-reg gate, and I right click on it, go down to export gated events as FCS file, give the file a name and choose where you'd like to save it. I will place this one on the desktop, then click Save. Then if I want to import that file into my experiment, I can right click on my group here, go down to Import FCS File, select the file, and move to it. Whoops, there we go. And you can see once it loads, it's only showing the events that fell on that T-reg gate. Also, since I exported from the unmixed worksheet, there's no raw data in this file, so when I toggle to this raw worksheet, nothing is displayed because the only data that's there is unmixed data. If I'm interested in exporting the raw data, I need to be pointed to a raw data worksheet. So let me choose one of my controls, for example, this unstained tube, and then I will go to the default raw worksheet, have this P1 gate on my lymphocytes. Maybe what I want to do is export P1 by itself. Again, I'll right click on the gate, select export gated events as FCS file, choose where I want to export it and give it a name and click save. Same idea, if I want to import that file back in, I can right click on the group and select import FCS file, choose my exported file, bring it back to the experiment, and you can see by the check mark here, this FCS file has raw data only. It doesn't have unmixed file data. If I go to an unmixed worksheet while pointed to that tube, I'm not going to see any events. The TREG file that I exported, however, you can see it has a different icon in front of it that designates that it's unmixed data. So if I point to that one, I'll see data in the unmixed worksheet. But since that tube lacks raw data behind it, if I go back to the raw data worksheet, I'm not going to see anything. I find this feature particularly useful if you're running cell controls where your positive cells are really hard to find and you have to run hundreds of thousands, even millions, to find them, but you want to make a good reference control out of it, you can record that data file and then do whatever gating scheme you need to to get to your positive raw events, then right click on that gate for your positives, export it as an FCS file, and then you can import it into your reference group for whatever tube you want that to serve the control for. So for example, if I went through that workflow for my BV570 here, I could right click on the BV570 tube, import FCS file, then select the file that I created.